what's going on everybody it's Bucky and welcome to your very first Java tutorial now in this tutorial before we uh, begin writing any programs we first need to download something called the JDK and for all you new Java developers out there this is the program that lets you um, actually write Java and actually compile it and compile just means uh, transferring it from code you can understand the code the computer can understand so uh, just follow me and by the end you'll be able to write Java code so the first thing I need you to do is go ahead and open up your internet browser right here and once you have that open I'm gonna use Firefox Firefox go ahead and go to the website java.sun.com and this is gonna give you uh, give you Java's main page what you want to look for is the download link and this is going to give you a bunch of different Java um, additions to download. You're going to want to go to the Java SE link. And this stands for Java Standard Edition. So go ahead and click that. And what we're looking for is something called the JDK. And this stands for Java Development Kit. So we can write and uh, well, compile Java programs. Now we just want the top one, which is a standard one. On um, this EE stands for Enterprise Edition. This NetBeans is something else. We don't want that. So just go ahead and find the standard basic edition and click download. And once you click that, it's probably going to bring you to a new page. Uh, let's see. And yep. And it's going to say Windows, which we want. English, which we want. Go ahead and agree and press continue. Um, I already have this downloaded so I'm not gonna download it again that would just be stupid but once you download it it's gonna give you an executable file now um, your executable file is gonna look something like one of these this is something else I downloaded but it's gonna give you a file like this called exe once you get that file go ahead and double click this and that's gonna start the wizard to um, download the JDK now it also might give you a file on your um, desktop right here like put it somewhere right here if it's right there then just double click that and once you do a wizards gonna pop up and you're probably gonna have to click like next 40 times and press I agree I agree to some stuff next next but once that's all done then you're gonna have the Java compiler downloaded now let me show you guys what the Java compiler is um, if you go to your start menu then press CMD and press enter your command prompt is going to come up now what this allows you to do is have access to your Java compiler and again like I said before the Java compiler allows you to transfer code that you can understand to code the computer can understand and that's what we just downloaded so let's test it out Java C press enter nothing's working and nothing's working because the Java compiler um, it has it downloaded but whenever you try to use it it doesn't know where it is so let me show you guys how to do that and again pay very close attention to this hopefully you downloaded it with all the default settings um, if you didn't then well you're still gonna be able to see what's going on but go ahead and in your start menu click on computer now go ahead and click the local disk which or whatever your main hard drive is then go ahead and click program files now you should have a folder called Java go ahead and click that now go ahead and click the version JDK if you don't see this it means you didn't download it right so go ahead and click that JDK the next thing and last thing I want you guys to do is click on the thing that says bin right here and remember you follow all these instructions very carefully next right click on any of these things right here uh, just click on your topmost one remember right click it and click properties now this is where um, you're gonna tell um, Java to look for your compiler so it says location go ahead and copy all of location right click it and copy it it should say something like C program files Java your version and say bin the last thing make sure you get that bin that's very important if you're not uh, if you don't see it then do this tutorial again and do exactly as it say anyways you want to see that bin so once you have this golden code that's what we're looking for go ahead and X out of that now that's where you the compiler is so how do we tell your computer to look there well go ahead and go ahead to click my computer again from your start menu 
and click properties. Remember you want to right click it and click properties. All of these are very important. Go ahead and click advanced system settings and uh, probably a little message is going to pop up if my computer is not freezing and it is so my computer properties advanced system settings there we go continue and you're gonna see something in your system properties called environment variables go ahead and click that and pay attention what I'm gonna do here what we want to do is create a new user variable so go ahead and click new now the variable name for this you have to write path p a t h and the variable value is going to write where that compiler is remember that link with the bin so that's why it's really important that you get that link now go ahead and click ok and bam click ok on this ok and you now have your compiler set up and ready to run so go ahead and go back to your command line and in command line go ahead and type java c and unlike before we now have a bunch of crap that pops up and this crap means that our compiler is ready and set and ready to go so now with that being said we know that we are now able to write java programs so in the next tutorial um, I'll show you guys how to do that but for now just follow this tutorial um, that's how you install Java on your computer so you can actually write Java programs if you didn't follow those instructions exactly like I said um, you're not going to be able to write uh, Java programs on your computer so make sure to follow this tutorial very carefully do it exactly as I did I know it's kind of a pain in the butt but it'll be worth it in the long run so um, thank you guys for watching make sure you get uh, Java installed if you have any questions or I wasn't clear on anything just send me a message uh, or leave a comment and hopefully I'll get back to you so again thank you guys for watching hopefully you have Java installed and in the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to write our first Java program so thank you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial